Hi there, this is Amy with amysewingstudio.com and Simple Sewing for Beginners. I am back with uh, video number four to show you how to further put together our cotton fabric face masks. Uh, in the last two videos, for a quick review, we cut out the ties and we cut out the actual face mask pieces. So now I'm going to show you the steps I did to prepare the ties um, for sewing to the mask and also a couple steps that I did to prepare the mask pieces um, to be sewn together with the ties. So without further waiting, we're going to get started. Um, here is, this is a tie and I'm going to say I have ties with different fabrics and face mask pieces with different materials than the first two videos I did, so don't let that confuse you. I'm just trying to uh, show you all the steps together, and so I'm just pulling from here and there of what I've got ready to show you. So, this is your tie. Um, I said your tie was one and a half inches. Cut on the length grain and 20 inches on the width grain. And what I've done for the first step of preparing these ties for sewing is I'm going to go to the iron and the first step was to fold your tie in half so you get a center crease line right there so when you open it up you're going to see that center line right there and then what I did uh, the second press time to get my second line right there is I folded in one edge, one long edge, towards the fold line that I had from my first pressing. And I'm going to carefully keep the iron on the outside here so I don't um, accidentally get rid of my center line because I want to be able to keep that center line as well. So make sure that your iron is uh, on the outside of this edge when you're ironing. And you'll end up with two lines right there. Then, what you'll want to do after you've got your uh, lines pressed is you're going to go to the sewing machine. And right now I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show you what I would do. But you're going to press, you're going to have this edge folded together. This other edge folds together really simple once you've got it under the machine. See both of my edges I'm going to fold towards the center. And then I'm going to fold both folded edges together and this is where you're gonna put your tie into the machine and the setup I have on my machine I have um, this left edge of the tie on the the left side of the the left feed dogs under my machine and I have my needle set to the right um, the right side so I can get my needle on this side is the side you're going to be sewing on and then this side of the fabric will be on the feed dog, so your tie should be able to be easily moving through the machine. And then here is a picture of the finished tie. You can see the stitching all the way down. I've chosen to only stitch on one side of the tie. Um, just gives the tie a little bit more flexibility, having the one row of stitching there as opposed to having the two rows. So. And you can also see, I suggested if you can make your ties on one salvage edge so they don't ravel in the, unravel or ravel in the machine, when you wash them, this edge is my salvage edge. It's hard to see, but some of that's just a little bit extra beyond the salvage edge. So this is the part that will be sticking out of the tie. And this end is the end that I'll be placing in the mask, which we'll be, I'll be showing you at a little later stage. But that is how you will prepare the ties for sewing them into the masks. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to prepare the face mask for sewing everything all together. And what I've done with, um, this is one mask. 
and the tops of the masks you're going to need an opening regardless because you need to turn your fabrics right side out and so the ties will be on the outside so what i've done is made my where my opening is i'm going to make them at the top and i'm don't need to close the opening because that can be where somebody else can um, put in an extra filter if they want to so since this area right here assuming that someone's going to put in a filter take out a filter and go through that several times this area is going to get a lot of wear and tear so what i did was i measured in three inches on each side of the mask so this little zigzag stitch which is right on the edge of the fabric is four inches in length and you'll do that on each piece of your fabric masks and that will be the top of your mask then the next step is, and here's some of the fabric I had in other videos. You can see I have both of my pieces zigzagged on the top. Then I'm going to pin my two pieces together. You might have two different fabrics. If you're using the same fabrics as I'm using right now, what you're going to do is you're going to have a right side of the fabric together and a wrong side. So that way people can tell when they're wearing their mask which side of the mask they had to their face. And you'll only want to do that if you're using the same fabrics. If you're using two different fabrics, you will put right sides together. So you'll have two totally different sides. So the next step after you after I've zigzagged the tops there, I have stitched a quarter an inch seam or the seam allowances and I'm going to stitch at the top here and I'm going to come down and I'll be stopping right at that three inches right where the zigzag starts um, I cannot fold this out right now because I'll show you what I've done but and then you'll back stitch at the top and right here to secure your threads and then you can just pull the fabric through or you'll lift your needle up, lift your um, foot up, and you can just pull the fabric through and then come down here, put your needle in, and do your next quarter of an inch seam. Make sure you back stitch again here and here to secure the threads. And that's what the inside looks like of the face mask. Um, an extra step that I did on the outside after I've finished these two, I first I don't know if I can open these up. I took the face masks to the ironing board and I opened, pressed all these open. And then the last step I did to prepare the face masks was I stitched. I just did a little straight stitch. You can see right there, I went across the seams and then I came back down this way and then all the way back down. That will just help um, strengthen up this opening for when people are putting in their extra layer of protection, whatever they're going to use. Um, that's kind of what I did to make these masks extra, um, give them a little extra quality for what they're going to be used for. So that is um all that i'm going to show you for right now the next video i will come back and show you how to put the masks and the ties together okay we'll see you soon bye